I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're diving into Togi's Adventures, The Big Move, by Dr. Stacey L. McDonald. This charming children's book takes young readers on an exciting journey with Togi, a computer mouse navigating the challenges of moving to a new home. Through Togi's story, children learn about overcoming fears, embracing change, and discovering joy in new technology and new beginnings. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put her in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support authors like her by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing her amazing book. The links are below the interview. Doctor, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Thank you. It's, it's an honor. Thank you. The honor is all mine. This is a great book, an imaginative book, a unique book. Who ever thought somebody would write a children's story book about this little tool right here? But it is an important tool, no doubt. And they do need to know about it and learn about it. But tell us what your inspiration was. Um, I actually was helping a neighbor. She was 96 and having a hard time using the computer. So I walked her through how to do it. I went to bed and I had a dream and woke up at 4 a.m., with this whole story in my head. So I wrote it down, called my girlfriend who were musicians. So we're up at odd hours. And I said, listen, Anna, you know, this mouse is called Logitech. I can't call it Logitech. That's trade name. And she goes, just change the L to T and call him Togi. So I did. And the rest is history. Wonderful. Well, it was very, very clever. And uh, that little good deed of yours in helping a neighbor learn about the computer mouse uh, turned into a wonderful story for children. Let's give the folks at home an overview of the story. Okay. Well, so Togi's a computer mouse. Stacy's in a high corporate office in the city and she moves her office to her home. So therefore Togi has to get packed up with the computer and all and go through the move and finds himself landed in his new office, her office at home with the beach scene in Florida. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes. And along the way, by reading the book, the children actually learn the many different uses of the mouse. Correct? They do. Tell us about that. Yes, well, they learn how Togi rolls, how left and right clicks, and how the computer mouse interacts with the computer and what the person needs to do yeah. to get a function. I think I learned a few things about the computer mouse. There's so much a mouse can actually do when you really know what a mouse can do. It's incredible. That's for sure. Yes. How did your experience as an educator influence the way you approached writing this book? Well, as you know, technology, we're in the technological boom. So technology is a serious part of these children's education now. And we have to interact with technology all the time. So computers and the mouse are part of their learning to navigate the the internet and and make sure they understand real sources aren't just Google and <laughs> those sources. They have to really know how to go. So just uh, the function of the computer mouse and using technology is is critical anymore. I, I don't think this generation of children, like I was raised without technology, and it was a new thing in high school and college. So, but I think it's just so normal for this generation. Oh, yeah. You see babies walking around, yes. scrolling through phones and tapping it and probably know yeah. more how to work an iPhone than you and I. Uh, yeah, for sure. I do brain based research um, in my instructional leadership, my doctorate. So that's all part of my um, interest. And I guess uh, the, this I'm writing a series of books with this because he's Togi's going at different places and different experiences. But um there's also Christian values laced in there. And my whole point is that you still need to live life and unplug sometimes too, even though the mouse is efficient and, and necessary. Absolutely. And that's what I was going to tell you or ask you about was the story is more than just a technology book. It also is a story of heart where, you know, you deal with issues of anxiety over a move which a right. lot of children today, you know, have to face once, two, three, four, even more times in the course of their childhood, right? Yeah, they do. Um, and I had four children. We made many moves. I married a merchant marine sailor. So he, he wasn't comfortable being in a place more than two or three years. So we moved often. And it was a challenge getting the children adapted to the moves. And so I know firsthand what my children went through, what I went through. And, and there's a lot of emotions there. So... 
Yes. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about the series you envision and where it's going and how many uh, installments there might be. There might be some published already. Is it just the one so far? Okay, so Togi's Adventure of the Big Moo was the first edition and the first book out. Um, I have two more coming out this year. He goes to surf camp. I volunteer with Surfers for Autism here locally, so that means a lot to me. Um, and then I uh, experienced Christmas in Tom's River, so Togi is experiencing Christmas in Tom's River, and I'm working. Those will be out before November and then I have two more because I'm a sailor. He's going sailing on a yacht. So you can actually learn about the parts of the sailboat, how to sail and the terminology and pirate talk. And so um, the fish in the ocean sharks identification. So that I try to educate as well as tell a story. And then also he's going to get a cat and a dog, Herman and Lincoln. In the future. Sounds terrific. Do you have yeah. a dog, Herman, and, and a cat, Herman and Lincoln? My my first dog was Herman, a dachshund. Yes. Oh, okay, wonderful. Long wonderful. Time, but yes, dear. That sounds like great adventure. So, Christmas in Tom's River, New Jersey. Yes, sir. Okay, awesome. So maybe uh, Togi will explore the uh, boardwalk at nearby Seaside Heights while he's there. You never but know. You know what? I was there in winter, so actually, when I wrote this book, I wrote Tom's River. Uh, the end of 23, beginning of 24, um, and actually got accepted in March of 24. So I had not seen the boardwalk at that time. I have now gone back and seen the boardwalk, but he's going to go to Lenny's Deli and Silverton's and places like that to that's prepare wonderful. for the holiday. Well, I think that's going to look appeal to a large crowd because I myself love the Jersey Shore. So Me I too. think it's uh, beautiful. Yeah. I think yes. you'll have a lot of fans there. I also like the aspect of teaching children about sailing because it's such a wonderful sport and it it's is. kind of complex and Very it's complex. great to break it down to the basic elements for a child to understand. So tell us what you're envisioning um, relating to children in that book. Um, well, so far I have it set up where you have an identification diagram of the sailboat so you can at least label the parts like the human body, you label the sailboat, um, because you really need to get to familiar with what rigging and what parts you're dealing with when you're on a sailboat, uh, just the language fore and aft and and beams and whatnot you have to know what that means uh, because I was a first mate on a boat for four years and um, when the captain barked out a command, you had to know where to go, what to do, exactly. which line exactly. to pull. So it was not, you know, goof off time. Let's sit back and have some wine or, you know. Oh, exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah you're, you're, you're really, it's busy. You have to be interactive and know your stuff. So, yeah, I always say to every summer, I say to myself at the start of the summer, this is the summer I learned how to sail. But. That'll have to wait till next summer at this point because okay. summer is almost gone here in New York. So what can you do? I well, understand. You'll enjoy it when you get there. Absolutely. And I can use your book as a guide so I can at least know fore and aft and the jib and all that stuff as go. well. And lines. Yes. And yes. I understand your grandson Noah inspired uh, this series, or at least in part. Tell us a little bit about his well, inspiration and the dedication to him. He did. He's he's uh, 17 now and quite the swimmer, but he's a geek too, like I was. And he is smarter than I ever was and will be, but he knows technology far better than I. And I'm just always amazed um, where his mind goes. He's got this math brainiac mind that knows technology as well. And his father knows technology as well and his mother. So um, I'm very proud of my daughter as well. So, but yeah, no, I, I, it's just, you know, you're always proud of your grandchildren as well. Yeah, as well, that's daughter. wonderful to collaborate with him on this as well. It's a great connection and a great fun thing to do together, particularly that it's an ongoing project. So I think that's great, you know. Yeah, I actually have a movie producer looking at this book to maybe do a vignette to see if it takes off as a cartoon or something so wonderful i think it'd be a great yeah. animated series uh for yeah. nickelodeon or you know discovery uh or whatever i think we'll uh, see yeah yeah you never know the book is out there now you never know whose hands it's going to wind up in and hopefully yes. it winds up in the right hands the book we've been talking about today is togi's adventures the big move it's written by dr stacy l mcdonald it is a charming children's book that takes readers on 
an exciting journey with Togi, a computer mouse navigating the challenges of moving to a new home. It's a delightful story. It'll teach your children how to adapt, how to deal with anxiety when it comes to a move, and also how to better use this thing right here, which can do a lot. And it's the first in a series that the doctor has come up with, and they all sound like they're delightful. This one that I reviewed is terrific. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you very much. Pleasure's all mine. Thanks for your time. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time, this time until next time, on Spotlight.